let's talk about the business because at the end of the day, this is a business for you. It is a business for those of us on the call. Yeah. I'm a real estate agent. I, I would say I make my money by creating value for other people. And this is an area to do that. Let's talk about the real estate agent who's looking to build their business. Maybe they've done a couple listings recently in this genre. They realize there's something going on, but they're not really taking it professional. Talk about taking this niche from, hey, I did a house for my neighbor and I met with the the sales rep at the senior housing center or the nurse at the uh, at the memory care center from take it from that to actual looking at like a business. How would a business look different than just merely stumbling over a couple of deals? To build a, a meaningful relationship is the key. And it, you have to be known, liked and trusted. It's really easy to be known and it's a little harder to be liked. And then we're shooting for the T word that, that I want to be trusted. And I always say in these relationships, guys, there's there's one night stands and there's 50 year marriages. I'm trying to build 50 year marriages with these people. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you a good example. If you're just getting in real estate, um, I'm sure a lot of you have said, I should network with wholesalers or I should network with other real estate agents to get business. And while I've gotten plenty of business from other agents and other wholesalers, what I've found is those relationships are quite fickle. Because why? They're in my business. They're in real estate. They're just like me. They're in real estate. And a good wholesaler is going to realize what I'm you know, doing with the houses and then they'll do that themselves. And most real estate agents do I really think I'm the only investor that they're bringing their deals to? Of course not. And so those relationships are usually one or two years. And what I found about senior living and what you guys will like, I always use the analogy of Bob. Bob's an executive director. He's been an executive director already for 15 years. 15 years from now, he's still going to be an executive director. And I'm a tool for Bob every single day because they, they have three concerns at senior living. If you're Bob and you run one of these, he gets hired and fired off of something called census which is just a word to say occupancy, and they get hired and fired for it. And so the three things they're concerned about is converting prospects into clients, reducing the, the discounts given, and extending the length of stay. And I knew right away I fixed the first and the third one. But if you really think about why someone would give you a discount, it's because usually the family doesn't have their money right yet. And they say, hey, let me give you a discount. And when you, when you guys get that house sold in the future, we'll make up all the difference. Well, then I realized, oh my gosh, I actually fixed all three things that are senior living problems. And when you present yourself as a tool for senior living, now the Bob, you know, he brings me three deals a year. My average profit's close to 20,000. I make 60 grand a year from Bob. And, and I don't do that one time, guys. I do that for the next 10 years. Somebody do the math for me. How much is Bob's relationship worth to me? You know, we're, if we're having a business conversation, in my training, I always say that 20 is plenty. And what do I mean by that? I can give you, show you who to contact, build a list of 100. But in the end, not everybody likes Phil. Not everybody's going to like Bill. That's what? okay. That's, what? That's, it's just fine. There's, I'm not, I'm not everybody's slice of whatever, right? And so, but 20, if I just have 20 relationships that bring me one, two, three deals a year, guys, you can do the math pretty quickly how you can build a business that comes directly to you. And there's, other than your time, there's not a cost associated with it. And I think all of us guys, if, if we're looking for listings, we're looking for sellers, you know, you can get on the direct response train and then you can never turn it off. Once you start direct mail, the key to it is never turning it off. And if you're spending five grand, you need to get to 10. If you're spending 10, you need to get to 15. With this, it's completely different. My business comes to me because I have relationships in senior living with people that are having conversations with families, daughter Judy, in a time when they've done this. It's the flashpoint. Guys, think about the direct mail you sent. Have you ever sent direct mail to somebody, a list over 65, have lived there 20 years and have equity? It's like, why do we send to that list? It's because you're waiting for them to do the thing that we're talking about right now, which is them saying, hey, it's time for me to sell. Your, your whole life will change when you only work with people that want your service at that time. Right. Doing business with people who want to work with you. Correct. I think that- and, Or, and or time, warmly the, referred to you. When you're warmly referred to someone, boy, half the battle's done. You know, you're good to go. 